I think it's fair to say that entering the prize is an achievement in itself because it means that you've finished your play, that you're proud of it and that you want to share it and that is a massive milestone in any writer's life. I could never write a play. <laughs> Have you ever written a play? No, I haven't, no. We're looking for something that's fearlessly imaginative. We're looking for the boldest and best ideas of your imagination. Mm -hmm. We're looking for something we've never seen before. Stories that speak to now. Stories that speak now. to now. Don't yeah. have to be set in the now though, I think, we'd always say. But yeah. like, need to kind of some, have some sort of relevance. Yeah, yeah. We're looking for compelling characters, believable characters that we want to meet and get to know more about, that we really care about. And we want the play to take us on a journey that we want to get to the end of. Every play that comes in doesn't get a full read on the first round. It kind of grows yeah. to the stages. It grows quite quickly, but I suppose then you're kind of going, okay, so what, where, have, have I got enough of a hook here to want to read on? Yeah. And then the next yeah. stage is, is something really yeah. juicy happening in the middle of this? Yeah. <laughs> and then kind of, do I really yeah. want to see how this plays yeah. out? It sounds basic, but things need to be happening. Yes. It yeah. can't just be a long dialogue or monologue with no action. Yeah. We need to know, we need to want to know what happens. Yes. Um, and I think it's great when you can describe a play to someone in these terms. You can say, and then what happens, and then what happens, and then he says this, mm. and then there's this, mm. this turning point, and keeping us guessing mm. throughout, because at the end of the day, we need to want to get to the end. Mm. I think when writers take the familiar and make it unfamiliar, that's, mm. that's a really exciting thing for me. I like plays where you feel like it's cost the right or something. <laughs> To I totally it. agree. Not emotional yeah. turmoil or anything, but like yeah. where you feel like you can feel a bit of them on the page in some yeah. way. It's cost them something to put that story out into the, into the yeah. space. Yeah, where um, you get the feeling that it was only them who could have written this. Exactly, that's kind of what I mean. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Rather than anything more yeah. sinister. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think writers should write with a particular audience in mind. Not thinking about who your audience are, but what experience you want them to have. Yes because it's too binary. I think something that a lot of great plays, the Women's Prize plays among them, have in common is that they make you uncomfortable. As in, mm, you you watch them and you feel a bit uneasy. Like, a, oh, do you think? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's the same. and I, I love to read a play where I, where I feel quite disturbed for some of it. Mm. But I suppose it's acknowledging that, the, obviously, the element of subjectivity and... Yeah, which is the, the beauty of it as yeah. well. Yeah, and that's also why we try and kind of put together <coughs> excuse me a sort of you know a really mixed panel of readers and judges to kind of bring lots of different views and, and yeah. opinions into into the space but also recognize that they are still only a limited group of people yeah. who are deciding um, one thing that's really fun is to be in the room where the judges are discussing the plays and making their decisions because watching all those different minds. theatrical expertise oh, yeah mm. minds theatrical expertise um, tastes watching them all collide and <laughs> fizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Delicately put. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's just a, it's a sight to behold, isn't yeah. it?